This is HuffPost Live, I'm Caitlin Becker. The end of summer and beginning of fall could only mean one thing. Spring is here. It's New York Fashion Week and the spring 2014 collections are coming down the runway. Have you had a favorite show so far? I really like BCBG, which was actually the first show that I went to. Um, I think that they really hit it out of the park, and this is their 25th year. But that's um, insane. And I mean, they haven't lost it, which I think is great. They're such an iconic brand. Okay, so let's start off with Tadashi Shoji. I love Tadashi. I am a huge fan. I think he knows how to dress real women, but you actually, did you actually, you went to the show. Let's look at this first dress. What did you think overall? Um, I really loved his collection. I actually got to interview him, which was amazing. He's so sweet. Um, he really delivers ethereal, intricate, beautiful dresses, and they always make women look good. And just by talking to him, you could really tell that his end goal is to make women feel confident. Um, and I think that really came across in his show. He did a lot of sherbet colors. Um, this particular, this lavender one, I think is gorgeous because from far away, you can see, it just looks like a lavender, lavender dress, right. very pretty. And then you get up close, and there is this All incredible this detail, work. detail work that he puts into this garment. And it's all monochromatic, so it isn't too much. Were all of his garments this detailed? Uh, yeah, they are all that detailed. I mean, he sort of did um, darker looks towards the end, which I've been noticing this season, a lot of light and then dark. Um, but this, the, that first dress, I would say, is very classic Tadashi Soji. We have another one coming up, speaking of dark, that we can take a look at. I adore this look. I love it for spring. I love when you get to mix a dark color for spring because we, we tend not to see them. Right. What, did you, what did you think of it? I love this. I thought it was good for two reasons. First of all, it was sort of a departure from his normal looks, which are sort of sweet. This is, you know, sort of on the sexy side, but then he's kept his elements there. He's got this gorgeous lace detailing. You can detailing. take the zoomed in one that I have um, right here. He's got this gorgeous lace detailing up top, and then he's got the tearing, which is a signature of his, but he's done it in a fringe, which I think is really cool. It's so much fun. And then we have a long version that we can take a look at of this dark dress. Here we go. Um, and this is, again, sort of a departure for him, but I really like it. Um, up top, classic Tadashi Soji, um, beautiful print uh, sort of pattern on the dress there. And then you've got this sheer material, which reminds me a lot of the Givenchy dress we saw a lot um, in the s last spring. I think Adriana Lima wore it to the FDA Awards. Uh, this is another one of these, this great example of the detailing. I have the zoomed up version here. Right. Where the, the fanning pattern is just such a beautiful shape, and then you hit this sheer bottom with a wonderful detail at the, at the very, very base. And when you have these dresses that are short and then sheer, so often they just don't translate. And I think right. this is done in a very, very good way. This is also something that I can see red carpet. Absolutely. We're definitely going to see someone with red carpet and their the ability to manipulate that as well. Like if you hack off the bottom, exactly. The, someone there's, could wear it red carpet. There's so much you could do. There's so much you can and do. And what with I it. love about Tadashi Soji is um, a lot of his designs are available for two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars at department stores. So you know it's not just celebrities who can afford his stuff. It's everyone.